My name is Laura O'Hagan and I'm a ceramic artist. I'm here in the Glen the Downs in County Wicklow. So I've been working in ceramics for 45 years or, or thereabouts. I think the older you get and the more you, you look at work, the better you get at editing. And then I think the work consequently improves. I remember how I got into mosaic, I suppose. I remember hand painting tiles uh, for a shop front and not feeling really confident about them. And then uh, in the kiln, they actually broke. I opened the kiln too quickly, too impatient. And there's these fabulous uh, lines in the pieces and I took them out and I reorganised it. And I went, you know what? This is like doing a collage, actually. And I remembered in college really liking collages and liking stained glass and different things. So I took it apart and I went, oh, yeah, I know where I'm going here. And the lines were more, I felt were more interesting than my painting. I love coming to the workshop. It's, um, and, and, and being able to tuck into a piece of work. When I'm painting, uh, I start off with something and I might have to paint four or five things or I might realise as I'm painting the first one, yeah, this is it, I'm really happy with this. And you leave it. And then you come back in and you think, okay, so how am I going to make a mosaic of that? So translating from one medium to another is another journey and it's, uh, it's exciting because it's not going to be the same as the painting, of course, because it's not paint. Even though you're painting on the tiles and you're rearranging it, but it's like making a collage of a painting. I love the idea of working in large scale. I find it difficult to work small. Quite often I work on the floor. There's a different visual response when you're working on the floor. From there, I would hand paint. I would take a bunch of tiles. I would hand paint the tiles and literally create a palette for myself with the hand painted tiles. And then from, from that, I would break them up and rearrange them into the, the way that I'd like the painting to go. And also I play with the uh, tiles that are already glazed and work the underglazed colours into those. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to go under the glaze, but I put them on top of the glaze and see if they sink into it. I might put another glaze over it. You know, just, um, just playing with that. Just get lost in the colour and playing with the colour and moving the colour one way or another or in creating shadows or distance. It's slower than painting, I suppose, because you're reorganising the pieces but you can get lost in it which is lovely um, yeah that's that's the luxury end of the work I get my inspirations from nature and from stories and then also depending on the site I suppose the most recent one I did was um, a memory of hill walking I painted it here it was quite a long acrylic um, painting and almost like doing a panorama of, of a mountaintop and yet feeling your steps as you go along. When you're walking in the hill, it looks like a grey hill. And as you walk up, I mean, the amount of colour is just unreal. So playing with that balance of colour is interesting to try and get an interesting, uh, I suppose, memory out of it. I suppose I like to put a personal input into everything I make. It's just like when you walk, anywhere in the world and you come across interesting little finds. I think they're, that's quite good. I mean, it's nice to see a huge big blast of colour as well, yeah, but I like to try and leave something positive and a bit of love in a space that I've, that I've worked in. 